Okay, let me go. Um, I want to welcome everybody and thank you for coming in short notice. It's going to be a fairly quick meeting and three action items. Um, first, I need to give you the background and the facts. So last week, with no notification from the current county administration, we put in a phone call to Public Works for the roof leaks, because with all the rain that we had, we found an additional leak. So there's like 23 or something, huge, a uh, lot of roof leaks. Um, and they informed us that they could no longer do any maintenance on the building. Um, so that left us um, confused. Aaron followed up with Ed Daly and Jane Meadows um, to see what was the story. And that was confirmed that um, the explanation, um, the explanation being that they were going to be following the lease to the letter and putting all the repairs back onto the library itself. Um, the fact is that the prior county administration as of 2014 established a system where the library could utilize the county's facility duty program to request basic maintenance services. Uh, services such as electrical, plumbing, lawn maintenance, uh, miscellaneous, hand math type things, uh, which were within the normal scope um, uh, of county owned buildings in the area. Needless to say, we're confused about this change in procedure, and we can only ask to what end? Why do you love? Why the sudden change after 10 years operating this way? So without the benefit of being included in the county's discussions or the think they're thinking on this matter, we have to make some emergency decisions at this point in time. The first one is I think that we need to obtain our own counsel and review the lease. There are some, apparently some gray areas um, and there's some historical precedence with the having operated this way for 10 years. So I think that the first item that we want to address is, and we'll need a motion is to, and a number is to, um, to go ahead, go out and, re and get a real estate lawyer. Um, we've been in type, so that's where we are on this first item. I don't know if you want me to renew all of them and then come back for the motions, all of the issues, or do you want to handle them one at a time? I'll leave that up to you. And we just need a motion to. We need a motion to obtain a lawyer, or um, and then give me your best guess as to what uh, lawyers are expensive. I probably am proposing somewhere a number somewhere between five and ten thousand. I would I would move that and to option that we obtain a lawyer. Say second. Yeah. And do we want to put uh, the mount on it a calf? For the time being, yeah. I'm, Bill. I'm, I'm seeing a bill here, and I'm thinking a lawyer might be ideal because I don't know what else is coming that's going to add up. Are these, well, they'll already get the risk, the subways are as if it's for the county about buying and things like that of it. I think I think a recommendation would be 10. So let's just go I mean, over there if we don't set it all. Is that a question about that? Okay. Is there any possibility that there might be a, an attorney who would do this work for its pro bono? I mean, is that something we would explore or I guess we'd still vote on the motion as is because we have to be prepared yeah. that there wouldn't be someone, but I'm curious if that might might something of course explore. I think the problem there is that you want to hire someone outside of the community of this and you know that's other attorneys in the community, most of them had dealings with the county at some level. Oh, yeah. So it would be hard to find out that more than my right. That's not invested in the money. Yeah. And, and so this attorney, her judge, we're taking to that, what we're taking to that is our historic relationship with the county. And if they have a right, right to withhold, we'll give them all the lease information and the, the history of our maintenance requests and our past on dealings and letters, that kind of thing. Do that and find out where we are, if, you know, if we're, if, if this is going to be on us, then it's, it's on us, but then, you know, what are the ramifications of that for our budget? So 
Do we have any indication of why why this change all of a sudden? I mean, is this retaliatory or is this just uh, and that's the question. Budget wise on their part or so there was no no communication from the county, a no letter, no email. We found out by way of public works that this was not gonna We're unaware that it was even budgeted on in social. Yeah. Sure you know. So this did we don't even know if it originated from the Board of Supervisors or from the county department or Well you'll depart to and got was were instructed. Well, part I was instructed to not provide services for the library any longer, so it had to come from above the department. Do we know if this a policy is across the board? But I guess I don't <coughs> realize. Are there other facilities like ours where we they don't own the building and there used to be maintenance provided? As far as I'm aware, there are, but I'm only aware that this is happening to the library. So we don't. We just don't know whether uh, other facilities are having the same situation. So we really are in the dark on on a number of things. Okay. Was the notification provided verbally or in right? From the, the from work. public works, it was verbally on the phone when we called to ask about roof repair. But then Aaron followed up with Jane and Ed Daly and received an email back saying, "Yes, this is." The case we're going to follow the letter and the of the uh, lease. How how much have we spent or have they spent in the past supporting the maintenance of this building? Like what is it? Like ten years? Yeah. Of you know normal everyday requests for lighting and plumbing and lot maintenance and you know whatever needed to be done to maintain the it's their building mm-hmm. to maintain their buildings. So hey, can we get? Maybe by the next meeting or something, somebody that just outlines just what they have spent normally, or we don't have access to that. That's going to be a hard one to like, so figure out. But I, sure. but the next item, I have asked Eileen to come up with what it would be going forward. What kind of um, contractors do we need? What do we estimate for lawn care annually? A plumber on call, a, a electrician on call. There's lights that go out on a regular basis. Normal, normal wear and tear on any building like this. A fifteen-year-old, yeah, that's a ten-year-old building. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is like if if we need to compensate and plan for this in our budget, right? Be nice to know what the trends have been that they have been covering. Well, we can we can certainly get quotes from from contractors and estimate what it's going to cost us going forward. So I think that that's where we where we. One of the things that we need to task Eileen to try and do that. But being that we know we need a new roof, we know we need a new HVAC, I think it'd be the best to afford with an attorney. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it, it would pay for itself to move forward with getting and hire an attorney, knowing what we have ahead of us on, with a new roof and an HVAC. And, and, and replacements versus brigade, yeah, actually, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion mm-hmm. um, for... Up to ten thousand dollars. I'll such it with that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. Thank you. We will take share of hiring a lawyer on and, and stay in touch with you. Um, so as I said, Eileen is gonna be working on um, projected maintenance costs and the finance committee. Michelle, that she's going to come to you, and we're going to have to review the fiscal year 26 budget all over again in light of this because the amount that we're going to ask um, the counting for operating budgets is naturally going to increase with this new, these new expenses. <laughs> um, and then finally, um, there are two emergency <laughs> care items that were, were in the works with the county uh, that we were working on as in, in partnership with. One was the roof repair, um, so that's not happening, but the county obtained a quote of about $2,200 for repair, not in places, but repair. And considering that that's an emergency item with all the rain that we've had and the new leaks that were discovered, um, that was within Erin's uh, scope, and she's already executed that uh, quote, and the roof repair will happen this week. What was that dollar amount? Two thousand two hundred dollars for the roof repair. That's not in your handouts. 
Um, so that's going to happen this week. So that'll go into the 25 budget or this year's. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's I didn't come out. Um, does the director have access to any money for emergency repairs like that available to her? So that's kind of why our meeting tonight, because Erin has a $5,000 limit on things that she can do without approval by the board. So anything over that that amount, um, that's why we're calling this meeting tonight. So the second item are the lights in the parking lot, another emergency problem. Last December, on um, the staff put in a request for uh, lighting repair out in the out in the parking lot. Um, at that point, there were eight out of 23 lights that were out, and now we're heading months later, and all of the lights are out in the in the parking lot. So this is now an emergency. This is a staff safety issue, and and a, and patrons going out at night in the dark. So we consider that this needs to be handled immediately. However, that budget item um, is now, it was 11, now it's 12, five. So we're here, to, we're here for this meeting to ask everyone, there is money in the reserves um, to ask everyone uh, for permission to go ahead and pull from the reserves so that we can take care of the county's parking lot um, to the tune of $12,500. Question, with all the lights being out, do we know if that air going a bulb problem or is it an electrical? They've replaced it multiple times and they still they still go out. So it's really, you know, if we're gonna need to get a replacement. So well, we're, we're, he has COVID, LED has to go on the fall. The fear and I think that would serve us all. They're going forward. But my, my question is, can somebody assess to determine that we need new heads on the poles, or is it a problem with the wiring race connected in the fall? The county all went out. You tell me when the speaking show with the county says that they have replaced them so frequently that they think that the best thing in turn was, well, this was, you know, months ago when we shot, quote, uh, to go forward and change the fixture itself because they were just changing. So they're changing like a sure over on LED instead of just replacing a bulb. Okay, but your, her statement was that they were all out. They are, I don't they are. They're all out right now. That's an old house, both, yeah. And the, and the hours are getting shorter, so. No, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand if we know what the cause is. If, if suddenly if eight were out and the others were offering. Well, that was last December. Right. So if they one by one, they've been going out. They've been going in. It's not like all of it. No, 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 no that's real problem. No, right. They've been aging at different uh, times. They've aged out over no, normal tiles. Fortunately, no place is just anything but LED. So, right. Then does this include uh, disposing of the materials that they're going to re replace as well? Yes. Okay. And this, this quote was obtained by the county? And so we feel comfortable going forward with using this company and and this quote. Um, new problems that arise, we have yet to figure out against the quote, but could how do we tell them more people and that kind of thing. So there are other issues down the road. So we're looking at twelve thousand five hundred to come out of the reserves. The other the other point I would make is that this particular project is a replacement project, correct? Not a repair project. And there, depending on how the attorney interprets the lease, there may be recourse to regain that funding from the account. So that- Do we need to reach out and request to see if we can, are allowed to make this change? This is the quote. This is now the of county pulling the split. So they're aware of this. This was in part of the projects that we were working on when we were on the building committee. Um, this was one of them. So comfortable with this quote, since the county obtained it, that we can move forward and get the lights changed. I think to Louis' question, though, it, it behooves us to get explicit approval from the county to make for change. Uh, because that's part of the lease of readings that the county is supposed to approve 
improvements or changes, and let's make sure we get it unequivocally approved. So yeah, they don't come back later and say, well, we didn't approve that. We just gave you a quote. It's not even just, it's not that in your skin, I don't need to not use that tap. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to follow the letter of the law. Yeah. After we wish Mr. Lawson, I think rather hack than say, yes, we will allow you to make this repair. Yeah. And if we do find that we can have legal recourse, they can say, well, we didn't authorize it. We just got it closed. Okay. Good point. So this this was dated 310, and then there's one here for 816. Mm -hmm. The date. Okay, so is this added on to the? No, this this is indoor lights. Oh, this is indoor. Well, nothing. This is indoor lights, but they're still honoring the 12.5, even though it's been six or but in, in Earth can eight. Yeah. Okay. The, the company, the electric company, they're still honoring that. The oil, it's a few months old. Oh, but to go back. I think we're uncomfortable with some of the information we're getting and not getting from the county. Are we really comfortable? And is this somebody's brother-in-law in who owns this company? And it, it, might be, it might be reasonable to get two more bids. And maybe then we can go pro vote. It's a, it's a farm rural company. How, how, how do we know they don't know so they there? I think we should. My personal opinion is we should get in touch with the county, a type of quote, so we received this from public lights. We need to add colored immediately. The cost is reasonable and the need is significant. Let me hear it. And it is, it is a safety hazard. I don't know that I don't want to waste or lose any more time you know, just to get this repair. You know, we'd be glad to put the film with some of these other Yeah, that's suddenly why I got it. And if I'm done, Lori, you had some. I was just going to say that um, we've actually used this gen before, and it's really good. Okay. I'll have to do it. Good. Okay. First of all, I'm ready to use it. That's the internet. I'm still ready for these. What, what, what did you say, Mother? I'm sorry. You, you, we've used this film before for electrical work, and it's really good. He's who the county has switched to because he's less expensive as um, the old electrician that they were using. I guess he's super. Now, whether he has ties to the county, I don't know. What kind of ties he has to the county, I don't know, but he's a, he's honest and it's a No, but he's willing to do the work, share all this time to him. And he can turn it around before yeah. it gets too much darker. Yeah. And then, you know, being that she met us talk to us at and if we can get this sign off that we can turn that on. We can turn around yeah. next week. Oh, awesome. Okay, got that. So, so if someone could craft a motion, but I think it should be pending authorization from the county. So, okay, to go ahead and spend this money. Well, we'll, Erin, can you send an email? I can. Yeah. So she says an email, we hear back to the county that um, we have to go ahead, then, um, then can we go ahead and hold money from reserves to the tune of false five? Are we going to give them a window in which they have to? Reslide, as much as they don't apply. It's an emergency, so I think we need to frame it as an emergency, and I th I think they will. Uh, they're pretty. They're going to do that. Yeah, really have lights in four. Uh, that's this, this is not a good neighborhood. We got and so pitch flats over there. Yeah, and it's getting darker earlier at early. Oh, it's dark out. Yeah. In stark, yeah, we we can put a lack of response with indicated by our approval. Yeah. If we, hear, if we hear no response by X day, we'll assume that. I think we need to say something like that. And close this is like the next day. Or you can't give them at least maybe two visits. So. I don't know. I don't know. And these are so kind. Give her the spot. They'll worst by how they're at least. I've got the quote. Okay. That's not an issue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. And clearly, I would say there was too. I mean, even if, if something happened, somebody would come to us and we would be liable, but they would be as well as stock the owners. Yeah. You someone's going to dig into all the pockets. Yeah, we're right. South. Yeah. That's true. That's true. So they, they're motivated to go ahead with it. Okay. Does somebody want to make that motion? I'll, I'll motion that we make a request to the county that we can um, go out for or use this service that they um, their public works has offered uh, as an estimate of $12,500 for emergency repairs uh, with as per the agreement that we have with them to, to get their authorization to make the these replacements uh, within the next two business days if possible uh, otherwise we can go and proceed if we don't hear a response 
Okay. Do I have the second? That's okay. Lori's got the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? And the funds would be within Pearl Reserve to operate for that. And then um, the last thing, which's not necessarily a huge emergency, but uh, just to draw your attention, the $3,500 of indoor lighting. Um, we we came in under on our carpeting. Um, so there's this money we have for internal repairs is already out there. And um, because we were on your budget for that, um, we've, we're going to go ahead and use this uh, this quote and get the indoor light to repair. Before that becomes the work. Before that thing comes under our kids' and it start inside the library too. <laughs> <laughs> out of work. This I side and that. Let's pull in, you know, we're open for this. So, um, so just letting everybody know. So it's we're okay. Um, on this one also said replace. I don't think. <laughs> this one said he replaced those. Oh. Okay, thank you, Scott. But note that this is a replacement, not a repair. That's right. So what's happened is, I don't know if you all have had this in your in places you work, but the ballasts, people don't use them anymore. So all the lights with ballast, ballast, right? We can't, um, plus the camera cl can't find ballast or, or make that happen. So they need to be replaced with LED lights going forward. So it's in the more and more. Save money. Save money. How many of the lights in the library are fluorescent as opposed to LED now? Or, or most of them still fluorescent? Yes. Because long range, we're going to need to have an upgrade on all the lighting. When we have had the money and we have a big run of lights out, we will change the LEDs because the actual fixture in this kind of a ceiling is pretty inexpensive. Yeah. It's the electrical work that the electrician that costs. But uh, we see the benefit whenever possible to change what we can afford to change. But there again, it's an improvement on the property, not a not a repair or maintenance. Right. So right. it'll add to the stack. That again, debtor actually get explicit approval in the county. No, can what? Now, is this emergency fixture, fixture, is that replacement or or doesn't exist yet? What, what's going on there? I see it as a second item here to install one emergency fixture. One emergency two-red fixture under the paint tiles of the If I leave that to fund with the bean cheaper. Is that a new one or a replacement? It says, I think it's contractor to install one emergency fixture at checkout area. It doesn't say replace. It doesn't say repair. Do we just not have an emergency fixture there? No, we do. There must be now. It, there are currently, there's several of the hats, the, the canvas wedge style lights, yes, that are emergency style lights since they cannot get arts for anymore. We've been saying it's replaced. So you could still trap points together. We can now we do. Okay, so that's going to be a replacement. I'm assuming. All right, we will we'll get that approval for that one as well. Then. Okay. Um. And and then just going forward, we need to keep in the back of our mind that fundraised planning is not for operating expenses. Um. So that we're pulling from our reserves, but um, it's really uh. People don't make donations to the to the library to have them used for operating expenses. They expect that to be the responsibility of both the county um, monies from taxpayers for the library. So we trying to we want to be fair to all our donors and keep that in the back of our minds as we go forward. I thought they don't cover one hundred percent of operating expenses as it was. They don't. They don't. Mm -hmm. About so, seventy-five percent. So we're we're still pulling from our donors. We're oh. pulling from that we get state money to. Okay. And we pull from there's a certain percentage from our endowment, and then from our reserves. All right. We try not to touch donated money, for that very reason. Okay. Uh, unless the donor specifically is what you're more yeah. No. Unless it's a restricted fund or in court, it's requested to be used to be died. 
it'll be actually interesting to hear what their rationale is for suddenly making this change in the book in my time. What? It would be good. It would be good to establish better communication. Yes. Yeah. 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 Since not I agree. Any community of any community. Wait, I thought that had, at the supervisors meeting, they seemed very um, happy to start talking with the person who managed their building committee, that they wanted Aaron to start talking. I thought that was a good direction. I, I don't know what happened there. We don't know. I'm only like, no, but no. So fair. When I was driving in, I saw a hearing notice between the property just prior to the driveway. Is that related to no. us? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, let me see it. Do what that's had up night. Let me, let me, if there's no other discussion, we can talk about that in a minute. But let's go ahead and um, anyone have any other discussion about the items that we need to be here for tonight? Come on. Okay. Let's close the meeting. And I want to thank everybody for coming. And we'll take care of these on... Um, and I'll keep it posted. Okay. Thank you for your time.